All right, everybody. Marillion Weekend 2019 coming up soon. What is the most important thing everyone needs for their chalet in Port Zealand? You're not gonna guess, I'm gonna tell you, and it is Indonesian chili sauce. Here I am in the supermarket, and let's go shopping and choose some Indonesian chili sauce. All right, here we go, that's tomato sauce. Don't want tomato sauce, here's the good stuff. You've got lots of different brands. We've got extra hot manis pedas, which means sweet and spicy, just like me. All right, I think we'll have some ABC, a couple of those. What else? Some, one of the Del Montes and some Chat Ibu Jari, which means mother's finger stamp. Let's have three of those bottles. I think that will do. All right, here we are. Almost on the way to Marillion Weekend 2019. This will be Marillion Weekend number five for me. And a few interesting stories about the trips. The first trip was with Garuda Indonesia. That was um, via Abu Dhabi. Now, the interesting story about that trip is that I got exactly the same crew on the last leg going back. So when, I, when the weekend finished, Monday morning, back on the plane, and then landed in Abu Dhabi, crew change, and the same crew that served me on the first leg in on Friday came out and they were kind of shocked. What are you doing here? Then the second trip, that was with Malaysia Airlines, which was MH16, the one that the Russians shot down. Obviously not that, not that plane, because I'm still here, I'm not dead. Bloody cold, I remember the snowstorm was coming in, leaving at the end of that weekend, the 2013 weekend, weekend I'm talking about. The, the snowstorm just came in and luckily we got away without any delays. Trip number three, that was, uh, what was that? That was Garuda again, nothing eventful about that. Although I do remember meeting um, God himself, Mr. Stephen Rothery, and say at the airport in Amsterdam when the weekend was finished. So it was a great um, thing to shake his hand, say thanks for the weekend. Um, and then trip number four was Singapore Airlines. Again, that was pretty smooth. The only thing about the Singapore Airlines flight was it landed in Amsterdam something like 5.30 in the morning. So you're there in that little arrivals mall foyer area and there's like th at least three, probably four hours to kill before the first Net Resnova bus um, takes us to Port Zealand. So it gets pretty boring sitting in Burger King for three hours. All right, anyway, that's my little stories about flying to Marillion Weekends. Let's see how this one goes and I'll be in touch later. Over and out. There we go. That's the business class lounge at um, Doha Airport, Qatar, for Qatar Airways. As you can see, it's pretty quiet, not too many other passengers around at 4 a.m. I've just got another three hours to wait and then get on the plane, which will be easy because I've got feeling fresh after a few hours sleep and I've got some work to do, so um, the time will pass very easily. And then one hop and we're at the Marillion weekend. Right, what shall I say? Okay, right, so the Marillion, <laughs> the Marillion weekend has officially started. It is 
Saturday morning, eight o'clock, and everyone's up. It's Friday morning. It is Friday morning, eight eight and eight a.m. And we are about the only chalet who happen to be um, awake. No one's even got any hangovers. How how uncool! How uncool is that? Never mind. Pace yourself, pace yourself, it'll happen, the magic will come. So, what happened yesterday? What did we do? We um, met up, yeah, we met up, we had some beers, some lunchtime beers, five or six beers, a bit of shopping, some dinner, dinner, more beers, and then um, we, we fixed, fixed, fixed a few problems with the world. And the heat um, yes, yes. <laughs> Discussed the odd malady or two, um, and had some meal, and went to bed early. Fucking Marillion weekend, really, for you, anyway. So, anyway, does anyone else want to make a comment on on today's vlog? Uh, yes, I like to complain about the um, duvet covers. Wait a minute. Uh, Let me get you in the frame first, okay? <laughs> I, know, I fully appreciate that uh, it's nice that Holland have caught up with the rest of the world and got rid of that awful... You've had a curry because you ended up being about a foot off the pan by the time you'd finished. <laughs> yeah. But they've sorted that out, which I'm pleased about, but they need to sort out their quilt covers. Because we haven't got any Marillion shows to talk about yet. So anyone else, yeah. anyone else to want to make a comment? Oh, yeah. No. Well, yeah. See, so he up. doesn't stop once you get this guy in front of the, ca the captain. Yeah. <laughs> they need to get proper cider in the supermarket. Mm, right, so that, that better Phyllis, cider in the supermarket. Yeah, that Phyllis cider vinegar thing that they've got going on is, is absolute shite, and they need to get, you know, I'm not particularly fast, boomers or anything, but it's got to be the proper, and not right. what they've got in there at the moment. It's shocking. Right, there we it go. It shouldn't even be called cider, it's something else. Today's agenda is. Um, swimming for some of us and standing in queues, standing in queues to buy to buy um, tickets to the seating area and merchandise queuing for merchandise yep there we go there we go go and see some bloke called dildo <laughs> Anyway, all right, over and out. I think that'll do. That'll do for this little vlog, vlogette. Um, all right, so there we go. That's dinner. Dinner night one finished. We just been talking about. We just been talking about t-shirts, Marillion t-shirts, empty plates on the table. But we still got. How long we got? We got an hour or so to go. Time, time for dessert. Plenty of time for dessert before we go to the first show. Is Hogarth spelt on H's birth certificate? Question six. What is the first track on a collection of recycled gifts? What is the first track on a collection of recycled gifts? Question seven. What was the fourth song beginning with H to be released as a single? <laughs> Question eight. The B side of Covering My Eyes is what? We have just demolished the uh, the competition at the um, Marillion 2019 um, quiz. We left them in the dust. 
We were robbed, actually. We should have been first place on that stage, but we were robbed by a few questions, just by a whisker, weren't we? A, a tiny, tiny whisker, and we would have been on that stage with the band and with some racket record credits. What can you do? Never mind. Gudge, give us a comment. Um, Give us a comment about your dinner tickets. He lost his dinner ticket and he had to fight his way in to get his dinner last night. Punch some German on the nose to get in through the door. Yeah, he's a bit of a fighter, is a yeah. gudge, really. We've got, we've got the ball on the ball. Yeah. yeah. So everyone's feeling pretty good. It's going to be a little quiet couple of hours to recharge our energy, ready for night number two of the Marillion weekend. Hey. Yeah. So it's, what is it? It's, um, it's about 3.30. We've got an hour and a half, maybe yeah. two hours. We'll have a rest and then we'll go down to the Market Dome, get some food, have a fairly leisurely um, dinner. And then after that, head to the tent and hit night number two. And then it's um, this guy's singing, Rock uh, yeah, okay yeah, yeah, karaoke with a live rock band oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. after yeah. after the show yeah. for Marie. Right, you'll be all right. Can you remember the words? You can. Yeah. Supposedly they've got a screen up. I don't know how they do it. I'm not sure how they do it really, but supposedly mm. it is a screen. Teleprompter. That, that will, yeah, will help you out. <laughs> all right, there we go. So. Maybe. I don't know. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is that is the show so far. Next report coming up. Thank you.